So let's look at one final example here. I'll set up a coordinate system and I want to look at this function f of x, y equals y over x. Notice that this function is undefined at x equals 0 and it's 0 at y equals 0. Okay, so the fact that it's 0 at y equals 0 gives us this sort of result. The fact that it's undefined at x equals 0 gives us that sort of thing. And let's look at along the line y equals x. Along the line y equals x, y over x will be 1. And so I'll draw in field marks with slope 1. Okay. If we were on the line y equals 2x, then y over x would equal 2, which is the slope of this yellow line. And what I'm getting at is that this is a weird sort of special case of a differential equation where we're getting sort of a, a star sort of shape to it. And this is what the field marks look like. And if you take a differential equations course in college, what you'll see is that many nice differential equations for a given initial condition have only one solution curve passing through that initial condition. Here, 0, 0 is causing all sorts of trouble. There are infinitely many straight line type solution curves passing through 0, 0. And actually, 0, 0 can't even truly be considered because when x is 0, f of x, y becomes undefined. So we have this star shape for the slope field. And this completes our slope field tutorial.